was hungry. I was I went to ring and I was training five five hours a day. I was punching non-stop. I was hungry. I know it's my fault. It's not because he's better than me, you know. And I prove it. I become an undisputed champion, knock out everyone in a, on the way. I was waiting for this fight in six years since 2007. I was waiting for my rematch. I'm ready for him. I know his weaknesses. I know what he able to do, and I know his skills. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna upset him, and I will knock him out. I made him. He was no one, and he become name after beating me. Every fight he was fighting, he matching my name. Now I'm gonna destroy him. I'm gonna send him retirement. And he's ready for retirement. I knock him out. You see 125 and one quarter pounds. As a professional, 31 victories, including 20 knockouts. Only two defeats from Taliban Bohol, Philippines. The four time world champion, former flyweight, super flyweight, bantamweight, and super bantamweight champion of the world, the Filipino Flash, Nonito. Archinian wants to find out right here if Donaire still wants to be a fighter. Is, he says, helping to rejuvenate some of the old fighters. Steve Weisfeld, tell us about the referee, Lawrence Cole. We last saw Lawrence Cole referee Crawford in some method, but it's worked for Lawrence in the past. It's not good for the ref to just knock their hands down. They want the ref to break it up for the team. Because that guy's trying not to engage in the point. It doesn't mean that personally he didn't know who he was. Now he knows he's definitely sure who he's in the ring with, and he knows that he has to be very right since then. That's mostly a function of the fact, and for all the best fighters in the world, one of some, which is usually what happens. Yeah, and, and, and some of them, you know, are like the uh, uh, Japanese fighter that he fought in Cruz, against whom he was up against it to begin with. Sure. Just tough matches for him. And four fights out of four to five, or five out of four to five all together, ain't bad. All right, left hand by Darcini. And air fires a right hand back on his own. That's numbers in the first round. Neither fighter was very active. Donaire was 9 of 22. Darchinian 5 of 21. Darchinian warmed up in the last minute of the round, landing four of those five shots. Darchinian back door. He got out of position or thin enough so that he can. This is not just because they both have power, which they do. It's that there's a lot for each guy. They don't want to be. Body shot by Donaire. Plus, as hard as both of these guys punch, one mistake could cost you to fight. Kenyon having a lot of success with that left. So they're relearning each other, and they are 14. Donaire, as the years went by, became more and more of a, a puncher and less of a boxer. He just hurt Darchinian. Just hurt Darchinian pretty bad. With the left hook. Yes, hurt him real bad wanting to get back to the boxing to set up the power punches. Donaire's heavy hands, it didn't even look like that big a shot. He did the time, he has good extension on all of his punches. Oh! Hard right hand by Donaire, that's Darchinian up. He got 44 seconds oh, to go in the round. Oh, good left hand by Darchinian. Real. gonna fight his way out of it. Two hard left hands, momentarily wobbling Donaire. Both fighters have been hurt Stop. in the second round. A guy throwing big left hands. Southpaw against a conventional fighter, and Darkinian lands another one of those whipping left hands. <laughs> Pattern is emerging. Donaire seems to control the first two minutes of the round. Darkinian comes back in the last minute of the round. Left hands. Donaire's left hook off the... Darchinian's quick hands. Darchinian has very quick hands, and that's what makes him so powerful. Powerful. Not to mention that he is a strong physical guy because he does like a thousand push ups. Two thousand push ups per exactly. day. So he's high. But the speed on the power on the punches is what makes him so dangerous. So the guy's reflexes often look a little slower. 
Recently, I've read that the push-up is an overrated exercise. If you do 2,000 a day, I don't experience fighter. He doesn't look getting his punches home, Darchinian. And he's been waiting six years for this. Patience here because it's not like him. From Darchinian, straight left hand. Archinian so took that he hasn't really followed his advice. That is, he's looking for the left hook, and he ended up getting hurt with the right hand already tonight. He can't jump in like that. The left what, hook lands again for Donaire. Yeah, that's what got him knocked out Time. the first fight. And the name J-A-R-E-L is an acronym for... Donaire edged Archinian every round by being busier. One more comment on the first fight. On the official scorecards, Andre needed the last four rounds, and that's what he got. That, Steve, and again, the scorecard which had Martirosian as the winner was unfortunate, and it's good that Andre got proper scoring from the other two judges. To win a 154-pound title, though, got to score, and I could certainly imagine one or two of them being scored for Dar Darchini. that with Nonito coming in the heavy favorite every time Darchinian lands some viewer because it's, it's less expected. Well, Steve said that he scored the rounds for Donaire because, yeah, he's more active, but not by a wide margin. So bringing down the house with activity in there. It's a lot of waiting and looking and that lands for Vic Darchinian. And we don't have to really worry about the scoring anyway because Darchinian is planning on trying to knock Donaire out. So somebody... Roy, um, when Dar it, it, there's a sense that Donaire is at a bigger deal in his mind than... I'll just say that it's just the respect of knowing how hard a guy like Dorchini can punch. Now Donaire seems to relax a little bit, but he missed with the one-two. Now there he it is. There the it is. That hook that hurt him right there. There All it left is. Hook. There it is. Right there. Dorchini's trying to fight right back. Now the Whoa. fight breaks out. <laughs> Those were some enormous shots they traded at the end of that round. <laughs> really landed in a good spot. Compubox found both fighters landing only seven punches in the fourth <laughs> round. Donaire seven out of 31, Darchinian seven out of 38. And we moved to round number five. Note that it's scheduled only for 10. Over Robert Garcia and team two separate sets of instructions. Uh, trust me, if it's Donaire that I know, he's going to listen to his father first because his father was with him when he beat Darchinian in the first. That Robert Garcia is not good. But his confidence. Three fights on the card this evening. In the first one, already Andre got a split decision victory over Vanis Martirosian to pick up a, in Bridgeport, Connecticut, where Donaire won with what was seen then. Than we've seen in the last several years. Meaning committed as he used to be. And Darchinian instead is waiting and waiting. Because Darchinian learned the first fight that you go out there and go at Donaire and leave yourself open while you're at him, you'll find yourself on a stretch of leaving the arena. So stupid, he learned from his first fight. More than anything, Donaire is a puncher. That's exactly right. Like that right there. If you run in there on one of those shots, you're going to have... ...of our experts right on point in exposing why I was wrong to expect our... In a moment, we'll show you the two fighters who are coming up in the main event. And Darchinian knocks Donaire back into the ropes with a left hand. Dropped the right hand Perfect. as Darchinian was delivering the left. Donair with a, or Darchinian, I should say, with a nine to five edge in the fifth round in landed punches. That's the first time in the fight that Darchinian has landed more than Donaire. He, he's he's wary of the things he should worry about Darchinian, but he's not scared of Donaire. And he is asking of Donaire, do you still want to be a fighter? Magnitude because he knew that this fight would push him and make him find out and have to dig in, go to the bottom of the pits, and wrote about the fight, started with the presumption that Darchinian's made the order in his career, erasing the disappointment of the Rigondeaux loss. So Even if that does happen, you knew it was going to be a... Very good for him. That's what I was trying but to say. But the difficulty of getting... And first time that Donaire and Darchinian have been in the sixth round again. Darchinian does not show up to lose. At all. Especially against Nonito, <laughs> to avenge that defeat. Much speed on his punches, 
as, as uh, Darturi. Off a loss where he's been undressed. Oh, good shot. Yeah, right in there. Tremendous exchange right there. This is where it's dangerous, right here. When he wants to just run in without thinking, he's susceptible to get caught with a counter punch coming straight in. Zombie <laughs> box numbers through the sixth round show that both Donaire and Garcinian have connected on exactly the same number of power punches. Garcinian was coming forward, pressing the action. Four. Would you agree with that? I definitely agree, especially as you said, uh, the first three rounds and the sixth round was close too. I, th I think that demonstrates it's a difficult. Punches. Then step aside. You mentioned before the Rigondeaux fight, Donaire hardly lost. Matabula was the exception. He actually won some rounds from Donaire. Getting hit cleanly and losing some rounds. To I think he's beginning to find the combination that he likes. They keep coming back now to the straight right hand followed by the left. That's the way to do it for him. The right hand is then the left hook because just the lead left hook ain't getting it done. The rage for your high school team. Donaire was hooded here. Not very active, not really pumping out a jab. Looking for Chinian running in with one power shot. He's a, a fighter experiencing something new in his career, Donaire. Coming off a loss with a new young family. Looking for the, the passion that he had not long ago. 21 punches in the seventh round. Darchinian, five out of 35. Each of them landing only four power shots. They've been very sparing in their punch output throughout the fight. By the way. <laughs> now Donaire back up on his toes. You know, in a 10-round fight with a lot of rounds close to score, this has a kind of drawish feel. One of these guys want to take control here. Round period, it was Donaire's father who asked him to throw more punches, it, who pleaded with him to throw more punches. Can get him to listen. Donaire was always dressed up, a puncher dressed up as a boxer a bit. He did have fast hands. It was never that is that athleticism and punching power. But he did boxing guys. He has an uh, item to watch. He still has power in both hands. Garcia trains in Oxnard, California, in the same camp with Brandon Rios. Rios hasn't yet taken off for his upcoming fight with Manny Pacquiao, so five after this fight is over and before the Saw from Golovkin. Couple He's constantly trying to open up the other fighter to get those fighter who's fallen in love with his power and gotten a little. That's Donaire's criticism of Donaire. He hims one punch the way he did against Garchinian six years ago. Way he did against Fernando. You? There we go. Good. Come on. I'm gonna give you three minutes. Obviously, last week it wasn't done saying to Donaire, "Don't give this away." Because the southpaw fighting a right hand is a handle is the hardest dude to fight with because of style. Good left, left hook, hook by Donaire. Look. Just missed, slightly short. Straight right hand, followed by the left hook again. Oh, good uppercut by the old oh, there he is. Down goes Darginia. Set up by the combination earlier in the round. And it looks like that's gonna bail Donaire out. The same left hook. Darginia never got his leg. But he was still throwing bombs at Donaire. Straight right hand again. Here comes the left hook. Straight right hand, left hook. He's his legs. He has no legs. Doesn't he have stop him. Him. Backs he into the ropes. He needs to stop it because he's done. Donaire's going to set up another left hook. Oh, it's stop. a thunderous right hook. And a left hook. And an uppercut. And he's Lawrence Gold's going to stop the fight. Donaire needed to come up with something big there, not just to ensure himself a victory in a close competitive fight, but to make a statement to maybe exercise the demons of the Rigondeaux fight. He came up with it. Overhand left, but he stayed low as he threw his overhand left and it allowed him to miss getting caught with the left hook. Donaire landed his 
One two combination, a beautiful straight right hand to the jaw that really hurt Victor Artinian. But right off of it, right off of it, Vic landed that same overhand left and stayed low, which allowed him to slip Donaire's left hook. Donaire come catch Artinian with a hook high on the head. Had it been a little bit lower, it would have been much more devastating. But then Artinian fires back with his own left and Donaire counter with a hook. And they just did some perfect exchanging. At the end, Kesh Donnell trying to counter the left hand with his hook, and the overhand left is landing first, and Darchini is staying low and slipping the counter left hook. He's been doing that all night long. Donnell has to either step out and counter that left with a right hand or do something different. Roy Jones. Here, Donnell, he got caught with a left uppercut and a right hook, but he kept on the attack. He sticks the left hook right over the jab, and that's why Darchini didn't want to throw the jab too much because it left him open for the, the left hook. That's the Ladies and gentlemen, the referee calls a halt to the contest at two minutes over the top. and six seconds of round and number nine. The winner by TKO victory. The flash the is, is back. The Filipino flash yeah, of Nonito. Yeah, he threw a left uppercut right here. A few times he now he changed to an uh, uppercut instead of overhand left, and Gartini was not ready for that point. But at that time,